Hey everyone, now this phone has to be one of the most undermined phones that I have seen in such a long time. Not only were people not impressed with it because it's using a recycled old body, but I feel people really underestimated how powerful and how many good features this phone can actually pack in such a small body. So without further ado, let's just get along with this review and kind of a recap on the iPhone SE. I have owned this iPhone SE for about two months now, and I can personally say, and I'm not really much of an iPhone guy, this has to be my favorite iPhone that I've ever used. I owned an iPhone 6 Plus before, and yeah, it was great, but I got rid of it, and honestly, I don't see myself getting rid of this phone. First of all, let's start out with the same features as it has. So yes, it has the same back-facing camera, a 12 megapixel camera in the back of the phone, which is the same as the iPhone 6S. Uh, it's containing the old front-facing camera, so sorry, selfie people, this isn't up-to-date, but it's still a great camera nevertheless. And it still has the same body that the iPhone 5S had, which isn't bad because it was actually a really good, well-designed phone. I don't know why people thought the need to change it was, you know, really a thing, but I gotta say, I'm very happy that it's actually in the same casing of it. It's still really slippery, so yes, I recommend putting a skin. Uh, I'm not a big fan of cases. And if you guys ever consider it, I actually have a skin. It's a concrete textured around my phone. And I had a skin, a carbon fiber skin in the back of my phone, but I had to get rid of it because it got really scratched up. Um, so I'm gonna have to order a new one, but I would recommend a skin if you guys really need one. Forget cases, man, get a skin. And I highly recommend getting it from dbrand because that's where I personally get mine. Now let's continue on with the ergonomics of this phone. So yes, it feels great. It has a great form factor. It feels great in your hand. And the biggest part is that like not all of us have big hands. I, I simply just do not have big hands. So I can actually use this hand or this phone with one hand. And I can't tell you guys how great of a feature that is because I just can't grip these really big phones nowadays. So this is probably the biggest that I feel like, wow, or this is actually the smallest I'd ever go with a phone, but it feels great. But I do wish it was the size of an, uh, the Galaxy S7, simply because I, I love that phone and uh, the size is perfect. The fingerprint sensor, it is the same sensor on the iPhone 5S. It's not the quick one on the 6S, but again, it still works great. I use it and overall, the power that this phone has in its small body is fantastic. I don't feel any stutters. I never see this thing slow down on me. And uh, I'm gonna tell you my favorite feature that I put in the title because this feature is what definitely keeps me on this phone all day for the past two months. I am a big power user, so the biggest thing that I love about this phone is its battery life. This phone has simply the best battery life I've ever used in a phone, and let alone it being a iPhone because iPhones are notorious for having bad battery life. I never once had it killed. I think the lowest I've ever had this bad boy is like 20%, and that's on a very, very heavy day like it was above my average use and if you see on the phone right now during this video it's at 61 percent or something around that i actually just got out of work and i haven't charged this since 8 a.m so that shows either slash how light or slash how heavy i use it but the battery can literally stay on par with me like i would probably describe the battery the same battery that the iphone you know, 6S Plus would give. Like, it's battery, it's just that good. Thanks to the internals of it being the same as the 6S, the battery is gonna run fantastic, guys. And I just really would really recommend this phone for anyone that's looking for a small, compact phone that is very powerful, great camera, excellent battery life, and overall just a phone that isn't that expensive considering this phone full price is $400, which is that sweet spot that I would recommend people looking for. So overall, do I recommend this phone still? Hell yeah. I don't care that there's a new iPhone coming out. I am going to stay attached to this phone for quite a long time. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you got anything to say, leave it in the comments. I don't mind. And hey, if I helped you out making your decision, well, by all means, you're welcome. If you got anything to say, though, it's under that like button. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. And sorry for not posting for a long time. I'm back.